Previously on The Joe Schmo Show, Ashley told Matt about her crush on Ralph. You think he's hot? Yeah, I do. No shit. Yeah. Matt took beatboxing to a new level. <laughs> During the talent show, Hutch gave a shocking performance and won immunity. FYI, I pissed in the whirlpool last night. <laughs> and Earl's eviction hit Matt hard, putting the entire show in jeopardy. Earl, you're dead to us. Right now, I'm with Earl's eviction, it really hit Matt hard, and uh, we don't know if the game's gonna continue. <sighs> it's too much pressure. What would you do if your entire world turned out to be fake? If an army of writers, producers, and actors spent over a year creating TV's most elaborate experiment around you? If they plotted your every move, recorded it 24 hours a day, and put it on national television? Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy. Meet Matt Kennedy Gould, one real guy competing for $100,000 on a reality show that he doesn't know is fake. Starring nine actors. Melissa Yvonne Lewis as Ashley, the rich bitch. David Hornsby as Hutch, the asshole. Angela Dodson as Molly, the virgin. Franklin Jones as Earl, the veteran. Nikki Davis as Gina, the schemer. Lance Crawl as Kip, the gay guy. Brian Keith Etheridge as Brian, the buddy. Kristen Wiig as Dr. Pat, the quack. And me, Ralph Garman, as the smarmy host. All performing for the one guy who thinks it's real. This place is fucking starting to drive me crazy. This is the Joe Schmo Show. While Matt is being interviewed about his breakdown the previous night, the cast and crew make the risky decision to continue with the show as planned. A lot of the actors were sort of second guessing like the whole process of the whole thing. And we were devastated to, you know, hurt him in any way and we didn't want that to happen. First off, we obviously had a very emotional reaction last night. To that end, we're gonna be moving a little faster. The challenge, not only to our crew, but to you guys, is that the story beats are gonna to have to come a little more fast and furious. We've turned some weird corner in this experiment that is our show. The fact is, we've, we've, we've had to make adjustments all the way. You know, up to this point, and we're gonna continue making them. You with me on that? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about your mood after, after the eviction ceremony last night. Well, following the eviction ceremony, uh, I tried as hard as I could to fight it, and I couldn't help it. Um, you know, Earl's speech was so touching, you know, him saying that Kip had helped him. But I got a single out one that probably taught me the most, that would be Kip. I mean, that really, really hit me, you know, because that is the essence of life to me, you know, that's what's important. That is what makes the world great. He really showed that he had changed and it was rough to see him go. I mean, we're dealing with real people and real emotions and it can be difficult. I never thought about that, you know, I thought, Hey, what if I win 100 grand? What if I become famous? I never thought, God, what if I really like the people and don't want to vote them off? You know? I just never thought that. And I think that all culminated last night. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. What's up, Hutch? After Earl got evicted and Matt took it really hard, all the creators, the producers are scrambling to rearrange the game, so they decide that Dr. Pat and Hutch have slept together. Where were you this morning? You know, Hutchie got a little action last night. What? what are you talking about? I got a little action. Let me just put it this way. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm Hutch. You're so cool. Right. Dude, I'm just Seriously. so full of shit. I got mad. my head examined. Hey, she's gonna get she mad that no you one, have the dolls. She said no one could she touch said nobody those dolls. could touch Dude, them. I've had more than the dolls, trust me, at this point. I got my head examined thoroughly. I'm on her knees in the shower. I don't think we should talk to about that. Ever. Whatever, dude. She's cool with it. We talked about it, bro. We had a therapy session last night. Whatever. We opened up to each other. She opened up to me. Literally, dude. I had a breakthrough. I broke through her pants. <laughs> her underwear. 
and her labia. Dude, he's making comments about how he hooked up with Dr. Pat and like, I don't know, like don't, he was kissing and telling, like from what he said, you know? Is anyone thrilled by this? I got about some- what? I got some action, jeez. If um, we believed you. Hutch is nasty and, I, and Dr. Pat is not. She has class and even yesterday she wanted to vote Hutch off and he smells and She's so cute. Why are my dolls out here? I was gonna demonstrate. Uh, Extra Parmesan cheese? Yeah, please. I was gonna demonstrate Thanks. what we did. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that kind of private? I thought you said you were okay with that. Well, it's okay. We want you to know we told him that he's not supposed to touch those. You know, uh, <laughs> you know what? This, everything's out in the open. It's cool. There's no reason for it to be weird. And then Dr. Pat comes in and they're having like some s sort of like odd interaction. Uh, throughout a little bit, like she kind of acknowledged it a little bit, I guess. Um, Dr. Pat acknowledged that they may have, I don't know. It just was all weird. Like I gotta wait till next season to see a game. No, you guys have seen a game. That's unacceptable. There was a game going on last night. Mm -hmm. Did you stop? <laughs> What? You said you'd be cool about it. I am, but you're embarrassing me. Huh? I wasn't sure if he was hurt by it, jealous of it, or like just disgusted. And I think it was kind of all three of them <laughs> together. Um, plus he just hated me. I mean, the man hated me. It's disgusting. And I don't know. I would hope now that she's a family and marriage counselor that she would have learned from some of her mistakes. She may need to make a new career choice. Um, <laughs> no offense, Dr. P, but really, I gotta say that. You know, I'm not in good enough shape even to dance. We're just jazzed up for this game. We're all gonna get in these sumo suits and we're gonna ram into each other. It's gonna be hilarious. We're gonna look hilarious and it's gonna be great. <laughs> just looking at the costumes on the ground and anticipating putting them on was a blast. Uh, I looked down and saw mine. I was glad I had some nice nipples. Uh, <laughs> hey, Pete! Oh. Here, put on. Oh. This isn't working. You your gloves? Because it's hurting. I'm feeling very claustrophobic. Brian mentioned claustrophobia, and I had to throw it out of my head because I immediately started like, I'm like, why did you say that, you know? We're getting in our suits, and, and poor Molly has a panic attack. Yo, yo. So I was feeling sick to my stomach a little bit, thought it was something I'd eaten, and I just, it hit me like that. I snapped. I started just tears came up out of nowhere, and I'm like, "You gotta get me out of here right now!" I don't know what it was. I got panicked, <laughs> and she Hello? cannot do the game. So she decides she's gonna pull herself from the game. So I'll just here, give me your hand. Uh. The sumo slam was intended to be a physical comedic release <laughs> to ease the tensions of the previous night. And what ended up, ended up happening is we ended up sending one of the actors to the hospital. And who did it? Matt. Next, someone suffers head trauma and has to leave the house. All right, guys, we have designed today's pampering competition to alleviate any pent-up frustration you guys might have built up over your stay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Sumo Slam. Yeah. All right. Now, much like the bold warriors of ancient Japan, today you too will don your sumo outfits, enter into a free-for-all fight till the bitter end. You're gonna be split up into two groups of three. The members of each group will compete against each other. Last person standing from each group will compete in the final round. Last yes. person standing! Final. Yay. Feel free to use any means necessary to defeat your opponents. Now, if you land on your stomach, you're allowed to try to get back on your feet and continue the fight. However, if you land on your back, sayonara. 
game over, okay? If you're the last one to be standing in the game in the final round, you will win. And the prize today is six nights and seven days at the Green Valley Spa in St. George, Utah. It's an adventure spa, a tennis and golf resort in Utah's Red Rock Canyon country. It's a beautiful place. You're going to love your stay there. To pick the teams, I will be asking you one by one to come up here and pick one of these fortune cookies. That's who's to decide who the teams are. All right, so Matt, why don't you start? He's pumped, and so we start getting pumped. And then I hear in the most harrowing, scary voice I've ever heard from another human being, he turns to Dr. Pat and goes, Better hope it's not group one. Better hope it's not group one. The hair on the back of my neck stood up because I knew it was me, Dr. Pat, and Matt. And I'm like, I, I was like, ready to pull a producer aside and say, man, you better get her out of this group or she ain't gonna make it. All right, group one, I want you to take your positions, put on your helmets and get ready to go into the ring, okay? All right, warriors, pray to your ancient ancestors, bow to your enemies and prepare for battle! Matt is our first winner! After he knocked Dr. Pat parallel to the ground, and then he turns to Brian. You can see Brian pretty much just running out of the circle and uh, declaring himself the loser to avoid getting hit by this raging bull of a man. The winner of round number one is Matt! Woo! Oh, she's crying, she's hurt. Can I get my off, please? Please. There, OK. Get my suit off, get it off. Okay. All right, get it off, gonna, gonna roll you up. Hey, medic? Yep. Once I recognized that she was hurt, then it, it got, you know, deadly serious when we were all pretty scared there for a moment. But I turned around and there Dr. Pat is, you know, yelling, you know, get this effing suit off me. I'm like, oh man, like just what I needed. Like the first person I hit like hurts her head and is out of the game. And that doesn't make me feel good at all. The first thing he does is he pile drives Dr. Pat six feet into the ground. Matt's looking over at her like, I, you know, could this get any worse? You know, my, my father figure leaves the show. Someone that I really respected ends up sleeping with the scum of the earth. And then I put her in the ground and now she's going to the hospital. I was waiting for her to say, you know, I'm an actress. I'm not Dr. Pat. Get me the, get me the hell out of here. The one thing that we swore we would never do to him again was make him cry. And I look over at Matt, and I see just a little tear roll down his cheek. Yeah. God, I'm really sorry about oh, that. Okay. Your eyes. I guess it drove home that this was a wild card. This guy was not in on the joke. And that we had to watch ourselves not only in terms of the performances and keeping the secret, but also physically, because you don't know when you're doing stunts and games like this that are so physical, what could happen? Even though Dr. Pat was on her way to the hospital, we couldn't stop. As much as it bothered us, we had to keep going and play the game. I was like, I think I have to beat the Hutch because Matt wants to kill the Hutch. And I was like, well, he's not gonna like come after me that hard, but he's gonna like just decapitate the Hutch. Everyone ready? Pray to your ancestor warriors. <laughs> and prepare for battle. Go, Ashley. Go, Kip. I looked maybe the most ridiculous that I may have looked ever on television in my life. Ashley, get up! You can still get up, Ashley! He's out of the circle! Watch his out! Now roll Ashley over! Roll her over! Yeah! Kip is the winner of round two! I think I saved Hutch's life that day. Hutch, you owe me one. The winner of round number two is Kip! Woo! Now he must face the championship of round number one, Matt! Kip was real happy, and then he realized that he and I would be going up against each other. So 
think he got a little scared and got a little reserved. I'm telling you, we were scared of him. He was making mean faces and we're like smile. He's like, hey. <laughs> I'm going to knock you down on your back! Yeah. And finally, our battle between our two champions at stake, a week's vacation at a beautiful spa in Utah. I'm looking at Matt and I'm like, okay, you know, you can usually tell in the person's eyes, you know, how intense they are. Man, I was scared. He's just like, I'm gonna kill you, little gay boy. You know, I was like, oh no. Sit up, come on! And I couldn't find him back. I can't even be like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, oh, God, don't hit me. Get in there, get in there. Oh, 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 no, no. Matt, oh. Matt is the winner. Oh. I would have had you down if it was for real, dog. We would sidestepped you, 45 degree angle. Whap. The champion, Matt, going to spend a week in Utah at that spot. Congratulations, brother. Shark Coming up next, Matt asks Molly a very intimate question. You've never done that? Have I ever done that? <laughs> and later in the show, Reality shows are Brian reality. bears it all for reality immunity. I mean crap. Reality shows, have you ever seen Tina? We ordered pizza for dinner that night to lift Matt's spirits while Dr. Pat was at the hospital. We were all relieved to find out she was going to be okay. Let, let's just do a toast. Hey. Cheers. 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 Cheers to Dr. Pat. Dr. Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat. Pat. Speedy recovery. Speedy, speedy. Speedy recovery. Brian uh, came to dinner and was fully willing to admit that he had um, had his earlier release uh, that day, like I had predicted. I'm like the Malcolm X of masturbation in here. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Is that grossing you out? Everybody's been talking about it. Tell me about it. Right. You've never done that? Have I ever done that? Yeah. <laughs> there was a long pause, and I just said, you know what? That's good enough. And she said, I didn't admit anything. And I said, that's fine, but just nice to know she's like the rest of us. No. I admitted nothing. You admitted nothing, but I'm glad for you. Ashley's getting a little, you know, show some respect. I'm sorry. At lunchtime yesterday, Ashley said to me, well, see, I have a crush on Ralph. And she said that she believes Molly is kind of throwing herself at Ralph. No good. I'm gonna admit he, that. He ripped right. your ass six I, weeks. I, you know what? I, I never want to be on my back when I'm near Kim. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Why do you want to be on my back? What if you're to be my hand? What's up? I'm just like, what are you doing? I appreciated Ashley confiding in me about her you know, crush on Ralph. He used some self moves. Like, I I, she's my roommate. Yeah, she yeah. knows that I have a crush on him. And she was like, are you? Yeah, I don't, I don't like the jelly part. What is that? I don't think what it's really it? What I really f felt awkward about was that that conversation transferred into uh, slander on Molly, um, which, you know, immediately raised up my antennas. I'm going to go fulfill some needs that I have. Oh. Have a meeting. Do they involve a thousand leprechauns? Hey. No. Matt. Hey. No. Is no, she? Don't do that, man. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Come on in, everybody. Yeah. 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 See? yeah. Debate. What's up, Ralph? Hey, now. Before we get started with tonight's Lord of the Manor Immunity Showdown, I'd like to bring in a very special guest. Please give a round of applause to our very own Dr. Pat. Ding ding! Down low, down low. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Welcome right here. Back. Sit right here. So, so freaking sorry. Don't. I was, oh, it was an accident. Pretty. Have a seat, guys. Have a seat. Wow. Dr. Pat, I, uh, I never thought that there was any chance of anyone getting hurt. Um, 
I know I leveled you. <laughs> I feel bad. And please believe me, I will not, I will not take no for an answer on this. And when I say don't say no, it, it's already etched in stone for me. I want you to please take my seven day stay to Utah. No. no. I said don't I'm, say I'm no. I started off by <laughs> saying don't say no. And there is no <laughs> question about it. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't write this better. It totally shows his character, which once again is like the greatest stand-up guy, nicest guy, the guy that every girl is like, we love him. Once again, Matt is the coolest, sweetest person in the world. Um, uh, he doesn't travel. That was probably something that he really, really, really wanted, and the fact that he gave that to me was unbelievably sweet and generous and amazing. Dr. Pat, yes. because of Matt's very generous gesture, yes. the grand prize at the pampering competition of seven days and six nights at the Green Valley Spa in St. George, Utah is now yours. Congratulations. All right, you guys ready to play tonight's Lord of the Manor immunity challenge? Yes, yes. Are you ready, you up for it? Okay. Earlier today, you spent some time physically assaulting your opponents. Now it's time to verbally assault them. Succeed in this, and not only will you win today's Lord of the Manor Immunity Challenge and the coveted immunity robe, but you will also earn the title of Master Debater. Master <laughs> Debater. <laughs> Master Debater. It was rigged, of course, as all games were. Uh, we had to make sure that Matt won this game, which turned out like not to be a problem. In this tournament style challenge, I'll assign you and another housemate a topic. Whoever can argue his or her side the longest without stopping or laughing wins the round. Now, for the lap of luxury twist you knew was coming, your opponent is free to distract you any way they want. The only guidelines are they cannot cover the speaker's mouth, they can't cause the speaker any pain, and they can't make any noise. All right, let's begin. Matt and Kip, why don't we get you up here first? Right. Matt and Kip, right. let's do this! Right. You represent. Right okay, here yeah. are your topics. Matt, you will be defending the point of nice and easy. Kip, when it's your turn, you'll be defending fast and furious. But for right now, you're trying to distract Matt, okay? Okay. And we'll start timing, Matt, when you begin speaking, all right? Nice and easy is by far the way to go. Nice and easy can be applied to things of a sexual nature. Nice and easy can be applied to things in school like, you know, take it slow, take your time. As we went into Master Debater, I saw that I was paired with Kip, so that immediately got me thinking like, I don't know, I just thought that he, Kip would go to some limits. Nice and easy can apply to men, women, <laughs> Nice and easy can apply to men and men. Nice and easy is the way I like to do things. I like to look Kip in the eye nice and easy. I like to... Stop. All right, we got time there. Very well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, Matt, stay up there because you're going to be switching places with Kip. Kip, once again, your topic is fast and furious, okay? We'll start timing when you begin talking. Well, when I meet a guy, he's so, oh, it's so me. All right, you're done. <laughs> you can't laugh, Kip. You can't laugh. That was uh, part of the rules. It was a valiant effort. All right, Matt, you're advancing to the next round, OK? Thank Congratulations. You. Got a face. Here to play, folks. Our next pairing, Dr. Pat versus Brian. Hey. Dr. Pat, the position you are defending is one night stands, not OK. Huh. Okay, Brian, you'll be defending the one night stands. That's perfectly okay point of view. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, go ahead. Start. Okay. One night stands. One night stands. All right, I think that's. I think that's it. What is she laughing at? <laughs> oh my! God. All right, let's reverse the positions. <laughs> Brian, you want to assume the position where Dr. Pat was? The time for you to beat is three seconds. I don't get it. One night stands are perfectly okay. I mean, say you're in a house with someone that you just- All right, you I won, Brian. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you beat her time. Stiff, Stiff competition. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Coming up, 
the most shocking eviction ceremony yet. Ashley versus Molly now. Ashley versus Molly. We decide that the triangle between Ralph, Molly, and Ashley would be brought to a head during this game. Come on, girls. Molly, <laughs> Ashley, here are your topics. Is it better to give or receive? Molly, you'll be taking the give point of view, naturally. And Ashley, you will be taking receive. OK, well, the Bible says that it's always better to give than receive. Because at Christmas time, you give presents. Because you feel, oh. <laughs> All right, Ashley, the time for you to beat is nine seconds. Okay. I like to receive attention like other people do, especially when they get headshots from other people and don't play the sumo game like someone I know who didn't today because they want to talk to the host all day long. So I guess it's better to receive. I, you know, I don't even really remember exactly what was said. It just made me feel uncomfortable. Matt is very uncomfortable because he does not want to be involved in any of this anymore. He just doesn't want it around him. And you beat her. You beat your time uh, 14 seconds. Congratulations, Ashley. All right, our next pairing is Hutch versus Brian. And here are your topics, guys. For love or for money? It's much better to do things for love because with with love, you can always get money. Or maybe you'll love someone so much that they, they'll they earn all the money and you won't even... <laughs> oh, that's a laugh right there. Now the Hutch knew he had to amp it up a notch and I start cracking up. So I'm like, man, how am I going to beat him to get into the finals with Matt? Hutch, we will begin timing you when you start talking. <laughs> no, he is not. Um, money is obviously the way to go because. <laughs> <laughs> Time. Ryan, I think you won that one, buddy. So I decided to pull my entire nut out and go swollen knuckle on him. I mean, it's a tactic. Um, a lot of guys have used it. It's like a martial art. Some people may say it was dirty. Some people may say it was underhanded. Some people may say it was a sucker punch. But hey, who was in the finals? Nut knuckle. Matt and Ashley. Matt and Ashley, let's go. Once again, Ashley, you're defending the bottom part of top or bottom. And Matt will be trying to distract you. We will start the timing when you start the talking. Bottoms are capri pants. Bottoms are jeans. Bottoms! <laughs> That's time, I'm sorry. Let's see how you did. Three seconds. OK, Matt, you'll be defending the position top. And once again, we'll start timing you when you uh, start speaking. When choosing between top and bottom, I always choose top. Top makes me feel better. All right, we'll stop you there. Well done, that Matt. Wow. Beautiful. Congratulations to Matt. He's advancing to the next round. How about some applause for Matt? He got all the way to the finals. You are dirty. Well, it's Brian versus Matt. Why don't you guys get up there? Brian versus Matt. Can we say no ball sack in this straight, one? Yeah. I get into the finals and I'm thinking to myself, where does a fella go once he's gone nut knuckle in the semifinals? You know what I mean? The roof is only so high when it comes to what a, a fella can do with his testicles and, in a debating game. Brian, you'll start. And here's okay. your topic. Okay. Reality <laughs> shows, innovative TV or mind-numbing crap? <clears throat> Reality shows are innovative mm. TV because... Mm. <laughs> that's time. Oh, my Ed, That was in the final Four man. seconds you started laughing, Brian. Four seconds as he nuzzled your teat. Get that robe ready, baby. Matt, you are defending reality shows. <laughs> Mind-numbing crap. We get to the final round, and I'm like, I got to, man, I got to shift this thing into fifth gear, man, or burn my clutch out trying to do it. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh -uh. Brian will be distracting you, and we will start timing you when you start talking. Oh, no. Good God. Reality shows are without a doubt oh, mind numbing crap. When Brian dropped trowel, <laughs> oh, my God. I saw parts of him that I don't ever want to see again. I had my nutsack and, and, and my never you mind wedged squarely between this man's shoulder blades, and uh, nothing. 
nothing. He kept talking as if a nude man on his back was as comfortable as aftershave in the morning. <laughs> Reality shows, have you ever seen Team Wesson? Have you ever seen some glitter? Have you ever seen a spear person? I just won this game. <laughs> yeah, I think he beat you. Well done, Matt. Oh, dear Lord. Matt, congratulations. You are wearing the immunity robe tonight. Thank you very much. You cannot be evicted in tonight's ceremony. I won the, what I like to call the pimp robe, and uh, it felt great. Made me relax, and it made me feel more comfortable and able to enjoy the richest to rags ceremony and just be more comfortable there. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. Awesome. You earned it. Not only are you, uh, immune from eviction tonight, but you're also the master debater. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. And I think, Brian, you, you argued very favorably for mind-numbing crap tonight. So <laughs> thank you very much. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you very much. Okay. See you all later at the uh, eviction ceremony. <laughs> you won, but I'm leaving here with my pride. <laughs> <laughs> Next, will Matt believe what he hears? We've all enjoyed living carefree in the lap of luxury. Well, for one of you, the vacation's over. One of you will be saying goodbye to high society and returning to your sad existence of working for the man. This is the richest of rags eviction ceremony. You're each represented here with your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Your plate much like your position here is very fragile. As long as you remain in the game, your plate will remain whole. However, if you receive the most eviction votes, your plate will be cast into the fireplace and shattered, along with your dreams of $100,000. We've already said goodbye to Gina and to Earl. Tonight, one of you will join. But before we get started, I have a few questions to ask you. Anyone feeling particularly vulnerable tonight? Hutch, why is that? Uh, well, forget the feeling people don't want me around, so I'm feeling a little, uh, little cold without that jacket right next to me. <laughs> Ashley. How's your situation with your roommate? Fine, thank you for asking. And Brian, any regrets bearing your ass to a national audience? No, I mean, maybe if I had to watch it. But fortunately, I didn't have to see it. <laughs> so. OK. And it's time to vote. One by one, I'll be asking you to evict the housemate of your choice in secret. Now keep in mind that Matt is wearing the immunity robe. You cannot vote for him. Also, please remember that the votes can't be changed, debated, or overturned. The decision is final, so choose wisely. All right, Molly, I ask you to go first.
Okay. I'll go collect the votes. Before I read the votes, I have a little bit of unfinished business to handle regarding today's earlier competition. As we all know, Matt won the Sumo Slam, and with it, the grand prize, a week's stay at the Green Valley Spa and Resort in St. George, Utah. Matt very generously gave that prize to Dr. Pat. However, at the time, Matt didn't know that that wasn't all there was to the prize. There was another part that we were saving to be revealed at this point in the evening. Dr. Pat, along with your prize comes a one-time only offer. You are certainly welcome to remain in the mansion, take your chances with tonight's eviction ceremony and future eviction ceremonies in your pursuit of the $100,000. Or, you can choose to accept this one-time offer of $25,000 if you will leave the mansion tonight voluntarily. If you choose the money, then tonight's eviction ceremony will in essence be void. Dr. Pat's voluntary leaving will satisfy our need to remove one of the house guests. And these votes, in essence, will be meaningless. Should you decline the offer, I'll read the votes as we normally do, and we'll find out which one of you has been evicted from the mansion. The decision is completely up to you, Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat, along with your prize, you can choose to accept this one-time offer of $25,000 if you will leave the mansion tonight voluntarily. Dr. Pat? Um, although $25,000 is a lot of money, um, I think we can all agree that this show has surprised us in the fact that money is not the most important thing. Um, I think I've met some people here that I will be friends with for the rest of my life. So, I mean, I'll mean, just take the money. You're accepting the offer. Yes. $25,000, and you leave the mansion tonight, voluntarily. Yes, that way everyone can stay and Well, then these votes really don't matter. But wouldn't it be interesting to find out who would have been evicted this evening had we gone through with the ceremony? Let me read them to you. Hutch. Ashley. The Hutch. Dr. Pat. Hutch. Ashley. Hutch. Had Dr. Pat not chosen to leave this evening and accept the $25,000, Hutch would have been evicted with four votes. But since she did, Hutch, this evening, you're safe. But it appears as if you have some work to do in the next 24 hours, or you better win immunity. That's for sure. Well, Dr. Pat, you've accepted our offer. You're leaving the lap of luxury. 
before you go from riches to rags. Please serve me your plate and address the group. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I feel like I've already said a lot of things I want to say. Um, I'm happy that by me leaving, all of you can stay. I'm not going to cry. Don't cry. You're twenty five thousand dollars richer. I know you're right. I'm happy that I'm leaving, but I love you all, and I mean it. No matter what, I mean it. So, well, have a great time and have fun. You guys just have fun. That's what it's about. A little extra good news. Yeah. Because you're leaving mm -hmm. voluntarily, you get to keep keep your collective oh, yeah. Yes. And we won't be throwing it into the fireplace this evening. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much. Congratulations. Well, that was nice. A little, nice. Little uh, unexpected turn of events, but you can always expect the unexpected here at the mansion. Now it's down to six of you, and each of you is again one step closer to one hundred thousand dollars. Tomorrow we start all over again. That immunity robe will be up for grabs. I'm sure Hutch will be very interested to know that. I, I need it. <laughs> Tomorrow's a brand new day, so congratulations to all of you for getting this far. It's quite an accomplishment. Have a good night and get some sleep. Dude, I'll take the 25 million leave. That is cool, though. Wow. Hush, awesome. you have more lives than a pound full of cats. <laughs> Can we get the Congratulations. Thanks, bro. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm in another You're day. You're like a bad penny. Yeah. I survived. I'm like a germ, dude. You're the guy on earth. A lot of people might think that because I gave the Sumo Slam prize away that I might be upset or regret giving it to her. And I just want to say, not at all. I felt great about it. I felt like I had done something great for somebody. Matt, I want you to know uh, the fall was real, and um, there's eight people, well now seven people in that house that want to be your friend for life and love you, and you deserve every great thing that's going to happen to you into your life. You've amazed everybody on this project with the size of your heart, and um... I know that she was happy about it. Dr. Pat is obviously. Uh, made good use of her time here, and um, she left fulfilled in more ways than one. I think Sauna, I whatever. I need a shower. What's up? All right, B. I'll Congratulations, man. Next time on The Joe Schmo Show, situations get sticky and feelings get stung. Molly gets a surprise visit from home. Dessert takes an ugly turn, and one cast member gets the boot for breaking the rules on the next Joe Schmo Show.